Hi, JP here at Websites for Beginners. Welcome to another video where we look at Echo Knowledge Base. In this video, we're going to look at how you change the text strings of this Knowledge Base. If you want to know more about Echo Knowledge Base, how to set it up, where to get the plugin, how to build out your articles, head on over to our website at Websites for Beginners. Go to Tutorials and under WordPress Plugins, you will find Echo Knowledge Base over here. This will take you to the place where we store everything regarding Echo Knowledge Base with all the videos. And as new ones are added, they go in here. One nice place. Let's look at the text wizard. The text wizard allows you to make changes to text strings. So though it is called a text wizard, Basically, those text elements like welcome to our knowledge base, search the documentation, search, those are strings. They are fixed things that appear on your site. I don't want to make it too complicated. I don't want to make it too technical, but that is the stuff that we can change. We're not going to make any changes to the articles. So when you think of the text wizard, you think of all the other texts that you can change related to your knowledge base. Let's go into our WordPress dashboard and then we go over to Echo Knowledge Base, Knowledge Base over here, and we go to Configuration where we find the geniuses, also known as the wizards. Up here, click on Wizards and we run the text wizard. And this is going to apply for your main page, you can see, article page and your archive page text, just three areas. Everything here that is banked into the Knowledge Base, now you have control over there. So it says here, this preview is in gray for easier highlight or text editing. Let's make the screen a tad bigger because we can use a little bit more real estate. And then you will see what this text wizard is all about. Click here on search box and the search box is this area up here. This is where we start and you will see that currently this is the text strings that appear within the search box. So the search title is welcome to our knowledge base. Let's highlight that and then just type in documentation archive or process archive. And the moment I do that, you fully understand what the text wizard is all about. So search hint, we can just say search here and then button search button name. We can say submit query something like that. Okay, that we'll need a longer button for, but actually you will see on the front, it will look okay. So let's just say submit for now, so it looks better. Search result message, and those are the things that will return as people search, and you can change these. So this is your search box, you'll go through them. Categories, what can you change? The only thing you can change here is when there are no articles within a category. Currently it displays articles coming soon. So you can delete that or you will say to follow, just adding random stuff here. Articles, the same thing. When the articles are collapsed, you can say collapse articles or show all articles text, the difference between these two. That's if you have activated those settings. Right, so this is our main page. That is the page for our knowledge base where people come and do their searches. If someone then clicks on one of these articles, that will be the next part. So we go to next. And now we see we have our table of contents, the TOC, back navigation, breadcrumbs over here, article meta. Let's start with the table of contents. Actually, all you've got here is table of contents. So let's change that and we call it index, right? And then for the back navigation, we have all topics. Let's say go back, go back to knowledge base. The long one, but there it goes. Breadcrumbs, you are here. We can say current page. And breadcrumbs home text, we will say main. Ah, I'll leave it on main. And then article meta over here. So we can have last updated on. I'm going to change this to last revision. Last revision date. Created on, well, I leave that author text by from. Buy from. Ah, well, let's leave it on buy. And this is your article page. So again, we're not changing the content. We are changing those fixed text strings that are baked into it. 
And then the last one is the archive page text. The archive page text is when you click on a specific category that will display all the articles in that category. And what we've set up in our original tutorial is you bring in an excerpt for each article, it will display on your archive page. And you also have control over that only for the description. So heading description, you can say category, or you can even deactivate it. Image coming soon. That's it. As simple as that. And then you go ahead and you say next. It gets to the last part and we say apply. Once you click apply here, Johnny, there's no going back. It's the end as you know it. If you don't want to save, you just click here on exit wizard. If you come all the way to article page and you don't want to make any changes there, you will select save before exit and then save and exit. In this case, because we're going to click on apply, we don't need to click any of these guys up here. Let's say apply and then we go and view our knowledge base on the front end to make sure that those changes have been locked in. Go to the site, let's visit it. Here is our landing page, our home page, and then we go to documentation. And now you can see it says documentation archive, search here and submit. These are the things that we had changed for our main page. Then the next part is the article page. So if I click on any of these articles, like initial application, it takes me in here. Instead of table of contents, it now says index. It looks big because I had increased the size of my screen. This is how it will look normally. Okay, so we've changed table of contents. We've also changed the breadcrumbs over here. Current page. We've changed the back button and now you can see up here it says created last revision date. This is the one that I had changed. And to go into a category page, you simply go here where it says projects. And now we see all the projects here. Some of them have excerpts, some do not, but we didn't make any changes here because not much to change here. And that is the text wizard. It's great learning about Echo Knowledge Base, and it's even better putting a knowledge base on your site. You won't believe how many times I go to sites, especially where they have products, and you need a FAQ section or you just need some documentation. The knowledge base is the way to go. What's very important, Echo Knowledge Base comes for free. It also has some premium add-ons, which will extend and enhance your user experience. Subscribe here to YouTube. Also visit us at websitesforbeginners.com. Stay safe. See you in the next video. JP signing off.